Okay, let's go, guys. Come on. Oh, come on, guys. Let's sit down. We can listen. Sairam, everyone. Everyone be quiet. Sairam. Uh, the main topic for our group is family, and our subtopic is differing values. The question that we put to Swami is, Swami, how can we resolve our financial problems? And we shall now move on to the role play. Hey, Sheila. Ma, I'm back. Did you all have dinner? I have we ate. Okay, I've got very exciting news for you guys. You're not going to believe it. I just went to the car accessory shop just now on the way back from work. You know what I saw? This fantastic set of speakers. It's about 2,000 ringgit. I've always been dreaming of the speakers. 2,000? Yeah. From where you get the money? Well, that's another good news. I got just got my bonus today. So? So, I decided that I wanted to buy these speakers, you know, it's been my dream. I've been working very hard for that. Do you know something? No. I got a big plan on your bonus, you know. I need to buy my jewellery set. What? Jewellery? Yes, for my, our anniversary. You got so much of jewellery until I can't count, you know. Hey. That's not a question now. Sheila, you just got married and I bought for you so much of jewellery. I'm talking to my husband. My husband can't earn money, you know. So? Wait, 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 wait. You don't, you guys, you all don't care about me, huh? I mean, my speakers. That's my money there. I want to buy the speakers. Oh. You don't care about me. Oh, Carla, accessories, jewelries. Always think of themselves only. For, son, for the past few months I've been telling you, I want to go on a pilgrimage. <laughs> Can't you even help me uh, financially? What pilgrimage? You can postpone your pilgrimage and you can postpone your buying the jewellery. All I care is now I want to get the speakers. Nothing else matters. I don't care about your mother and I'm not care about you. You just give you my money. Hi, uncle. I want to go on a pilgrimage. I don't want to go. Well, uncle, you know, today I saw this fantastic set of speakers. In this speakers? Car. Yeah, this car speakers, you know. Oh, I see. And I got my bonus today. I'm mm. so excited today. I see. And then I came to tell my wife and mother you know what they said mm. they only my wife wants jewelry my mother wants to go to india uh. nobody seems to care about what i want uncle you must listen to me yeah, it's my first year anniversary you know you it's must get something for me it's a fair request one again brother they're always thinking of themselves oh no? yeah amma's request is quite fair <laughs> <laughs> okay this problem, how to settle this problem? No, we haven't discussed it yet. Okay, what I suggest now, can we just sit down and talk? Yeah, and that would be a good idea. Solution? Okay, Sorry? I agree okay. to the idea. Okay, have you all prepared any income and expenditure list, uh, Mahen? Do you all prepare? Well, you know what? Every time I get the money, she gets the money, we just spend as it comes. We don't we don't actually have a income or expenditure, you know, she or whatever. Do any budgeting? So far, no, uncle. No. Yeah. You all should do budget. We are newly married, so we don't think about the plan yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we are young, we like to have fun. I mean, uh, there's plenty of money for us. We don't have children. We need to budget, then you know you can uh, give priority to the important things first, my age. Maybe Amma's request yeah. is quite fair. Can you see Amma's how Amma's getting Amma? old. Maybe I think you should uh, fulfill a wish to go to Puttapati. Uh, I go on my pilgrimage, I'm not going to pray for myself. I'm going to pray for everybody. everybody that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila? Okay, uncle, I'll consider that. Yeah, I think we'll talk it over and, uh, you know, I think it's fair that, you know, she's <laughs> getting old and you should consider her feelings as well. That's good, yeah.
Bond says, in the future, husband's troubles are wife's troubles, and wife's troubles become husband. It is like if one part of the body is paralyzed, the other part of the body heals the paralysis. And so, your wife must feel your pain, and you must feel her pain. Both of your pains are removed by Swami. Both husband should help wife, and wife should help husband. The question to Swami is, Swami, how can we avoid conflict and anger in our relationships? So I would go uh, to the response first before we present our uh, play. Uh, first is listen with love, i.e. empathize. Second, do not be disagreeable even though you do not disagree. And the third one is react positively and communicate. Spend quality time together to resolve family issues. So now we will present our, our uh, short uh, sketch and we will go to Swami's goods. The couple here have a pre-arranged program for a function. The wife comes late from work. Sorry, I'm late. Just give me a minute. I'll get ready and come. What do you mean? Do you know what time it is? Can you just see what time it is? <laughs> it's 8.30. Yeah, you're one hour late. We arranged to meet at mother-in-law's house at 7.30. Listen, I have to stay back in office. My boss asked me to do a lot of work, okay? And I, in fact, I came up an hour earlier and I told him tomorrow I'll come in late earlier to do all the work, okay? I don't think so. I think you're doing this to hurt me. Don't you think, don't you know it's important that we go to the mother-in-law's house? Of course I know it's important. It's your mother's birthday, but do understand that I have work. What do you expect me to do? Leave everything and run behind you and your mother? <laughs> uh, if you don't want to come, that's your problem. I'm going. Come kids, we are going. Happy birthday party. Now, brothers and sisters, the second part. You see, we have attended the workshop. <laughs> Especially to you, brother and sister. Now the scene changes forever, it changes. Ah, now you'll see what happens. Hi darling, sorry I'm late. I had some work in office, just give me a few minutes, I'll be ready. What happened to you? I was so worried. Oh, you know my boss, <laughs> my God. He just took the life out of me, had so much of work to do. But never mind, I called your mother and told her we'll be late. So don't worry darling, she won't get upset. Oh, that was wonderful. Do you want something? Can I get you a drink? <laughs> She who knows the mind of the husband and speaks softly and lovingly is the real friend. Why sometimes when the wife has to point out the path of dharma to the husband, she takes the role of even the father. When the husband is down with illness, she is the mother. And the third one, men should try to understand women and women should also try to understand men. It is the harmony, peace, mutual love between men and women that bring happiness and peace to the family. People want happiness in the family, but they do not lead exemplary life. The fault lies with both the husband and the wife. Sarah. Swami, how can I prioritize my relationship with my spouse and in-laws? And we've come up with three solutions, and that is communication, tolerance and understanding, and finally, which is really important, mutual respect. All right, the scene will be played by a few of our the a typical family, husband, wife, with an in-law at home, and this is the scene that is lacking all of this. All right. Hello? Hello? Oh, yes. Yes, Papa. What do you want? Is she okay? Okay, okay. I'm coming now. I'll, I'll come right away. Bye. Come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Look at your wife. Look at your wife. No respect for me. She's just walking like that. Forget about me, mother-in-law. 
you are the husband. You are the husband. She got no respect for you. I don't like this. If you do this, she won't respect you. Life is gone. I'm talking to you, Kanna. I'm talking to you. What? What do you want me to do? Forever fighting. Uh. <laughs> uh. The second scene is similar to what we did just now, but they have incorporated in their life communications, tolerance, understanding, and mutual respect. <laughs> Hello? Uh, Fad? Oh my god. What happened? Oh, how, is, how is mother doing right now? Oh, okay. I will come right now. Okay? Alright. Uh, ma? Yeah? Yeah, ma. Uh, actually, my father called me. Uh, <laughs> my, father, my father called just now. And then my, my mother is not feeling very well. Oh, ma. Kana, you take her and go. Don't worry about Amma. Amma will look after myself. <laughs> if you need anything further, just give me a call. I will come. Okay, thank okay. you, Amma. Do the household chores together. Don't worry together. about the house. I will look after. <laughs> Sairam, everybody. Sairam. I've uh, chosen just one uh, quotation from the three. I've chosen mutual respect, which is page three, quotation number seven. Men should try to understand women and women should also try to understand men. It is the harmony, peace and mutual love between men and women that brings happiness and peace to the family. People want happiness in the family, but they do not lead exemplary life. The fault lies with both the husband and the wife. Um, I hope you all understand the sketch. Uh, it's, it's not the mother-in-law or the daughter-in-law or the father-in-law. Nobody's fault. It's communication. If the daughter-in-law would have told, Ma, this is a problem, and she would have walked out, everybody would have been happy, but she stormed out. So this is what we try to explain, going back again to understanding and then adjustment. So I hope by this we understand how important communication is in our uh, marriage life. Thank you. Basically, the question that we have proposed here to Swami, or we're going to ask Swami is, Swami, how can I manage my anger and everyday problem? Yeah, so uh, we've come up with proposed solutions here. And um, what I'm going to do is, you'll see the proposed solutions actually in this shot little uh, sketch that we're doing here, so I, won't, I don't want to duplicate and tell you again. So, um, this is a, a scene that is now being depicted from the, the home of Mr. and Mrs. Petty Anger. Oh, it's 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock. It's time for me to watch Anamalai. It's time <laughs> I must defeat Anamalai. One way or another, I must get rid of her from my life. Then only I can get the temple property. I must get that property. One way or another, I, whoever comes, I'm going to get them out of my way. Don't Just disturb me, channel. Let's watch the sport channel. Let's watch the football. <laughs> and we have Beckham here, Beckham and Rear Gates. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. There is, there is a dispute. Oh, no. There is a fight. There is a fight between them. Beckham, Beckham and Rear Gates. And, oh, yes. Another headline for today was at Jalan Ta, where two cars had a collision causing a confrontation which created tremendous anger. The gentleman, party of the accident, returned to his car, picked up a one meter param and immediately slashed the lady driver. This resulted in immediate death. Saira, anger again. Discovery Channel. See what we can watch from here.
Yes, my brothers and sisters. So you see, we see anger reflected in every part of our daily lives. In front of the TV set, in our homes, in football fields, in the roads, we see anger, ego, temper, tension. So there is very important need here for adjustments and understanding. Swami says this must be done. These habits must be overcome. We have to find a way for the happiness in our lives. We must now listen to calm music, do meditation, pranayama, read books that feed the soul, where the name of the Lord is sung and His glory remembered. That home is really the home of the Lord. Darling, don't you think we should practice this? It's so beautiful. We have been side devotees for so long. What practices have we followed? We will work together. Thank you, Sayadaw. So these are our proposed solutions, exactly like how it is. At the moments of anger, what we feel that we should do is, difficult as it is, impossible for me actually, is to be silent. You know, so this is something that we have said that we're going to do. Be silent when someone scolds you, no matter how painful it can be. Spiritual practices that will help. This is short term, at the moment that the situation that you're going to face. But for long term, yeah, how are you going to manage your anger is basically through Namas Marma, uh, meditation, pranayama, which is basically breath control here, because when you get angry, it's your breathing. A bhajans, someone gave a very nice analogy of bhajans and how we start bhajans very calmly, slowly. The first round is slow, and then the next round is, is a little bit faster. But then the last line, we end it in slow again. So you know how we are you know, in this cycle of life that you know you start slow, then if you do get off fast, it's import important to come back to that calm state again. You know, so buttons somehow not, and the calm music. Having to, to, to be in a, in a, you know, when you play calm music, I always feel that when there's a calm music, my father shouts at me, I don't have the guts to shout back. That means I'm destroying the energy at the home. Whereas if there's a normal song going on on the radio, and my father shouts at me, the natural tendency, shout back. You know? So I find that the calm music helps perfectly. Self-audit, I thought, is like fantastic if you can do this every day. You know, when you come back and you analyze exactly how many times you've lost your temper to who you've lost it. And one sister said, at the moment you're angry, so you're silent, right? But the volcano is erupted inside and you're keeping it inside. You know, you can't release it, but you can't confront the person. At the point that, that point, the person is angry itself. So what do you do? You've got this anger, you must release it as well. So take out a piece of paper and write down all the feelings on right, 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 you know. So maybe at the end of the day, if you look at how you felt, or maybe two days later, look at how you felt, you'd be amazed. That comes with self-audit as well. Or every day, in your own way, self-audit. You know, like how um, Rita Bruce and Robert Bruce does it at night, where he goes to her and he tells, you know, what happened in the day, and she goes to him and tells what happens in the day, and there's a self-audit that takes place. And I think that really helps. And Swami's quotations... Uh, down there. Thank you very much. In the future, husbands' troubles are wives' troubles, and wives' troubles become husbands. It, it, it is like if one part of the body is paralyzed, the other part of the body feels the para paralysis. And so, your wife must feel your pain, and you must feel her pains. Both of your pains are removed by Swami. Both of you have Swami. Both husband should help wife, and wife should help husband. So, Swami, how can I appreciate my spouse? Scenario one, the devil is mine. Tired lah, cooking my husband's favorite curry. I don't know what time is bad. Just rush home from work. Pepper, chili. So tired. What to do every day? I'm home. Gosh, I'm so tired. Where are you? I'm here in the kitchen. How's your day? It's 
really bad, honey. But anyway, I'm, I'm really tired. You know, I had a long day. I had a long meeting. And, you know, like I skipped I lunch. And, and my boss is terrible. He's getting from bed to worse. Like I didn't. Um, get me a glass of cold water. I'm, I am so, so honey, exhausted. Honey, I, I, I already made tea for you. I need some... Tea? I, you always ask for tea? No, but it's too hot today. You know, the weather is terrible. Scorching heat. I really need a glass of ice water. Just get me a glass I of ice water. I already tea for you. No, no, no. Uh, dinner? Just, is it dinner? Uh, just get me a glass of ice water. No, I, I am too tired, you know. Yes, honey. I just need something cold. Yes, honey. Here, honey. Um, dinner will be ready soon. What is taking you so long, you know? I, I just came been back doing the whole day. day. You it's know, I am so hungry, I am starving. And Look, I was stuck in all the gym and I had to rush to back, back and I now have to cook for you. Just, just, just get dinner quick, you know. I've got a long, I had a long day and I want, to, I want to go to bed you early. You to have dinner. And I, I, you know, I have got an early day tomorrow. No, don't complain. Come on, don't complain. Just get the dinner, you know. Okay, dinner is served. Finally, gosh. So, how's dinner, honey? Mm. Honey, how's dinner? Oh, yeah. Okay, alright. Mm. Okay. Let me go wash up. Yeah. Let me see what's on TV. Uh, uh, honey, everything uh, is so miserable, you know, everything. Honey, Come home, there's problem, work o'clock. is problem, you know. Nine, nine o'clock, I want to watch TV. What, what nine o'clock? American Idol, last episode. Oh. Oh, I've got my game tonight. You know, I've got no, football tonight. Don't. No, no, what, what? No, no, I don't get to watch TV every day. You know, I've got, I've got board meetings every night. You know, I've, I need my game tonight. I have board meetings. I have to rush home for you, cook for you, cook your favorite. Oh, there, look, look, you oh, don't wow. appreciate what, what I cook. Uh, and now I want to end the day when watching my favorite show. I have to go. And God, my, my dear wife remembers all the special days. I love you, honey. I love you too. <laughs> okay, here, come. Let me help you. Let me get my bag off. Yeah, Can I get my friends now. You just set the dinner table. Please. Oh, is that right? Okay, I'll yeah. do that. Um, dinner will be served in five minutes. Not excellent, three. excellent. Just get. Can you can you get me a glass of cold water? Uh, I am honey, so thirsty. Honey, I made tea already. Tea with less sugar, but just so like you right like it. It's okay. All right, I'll have a cup then. If you yeah. made it, I'll have it. Oh. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, dinner is served. Well, the dinner's ready. Yeah. Wow, look at what you've cooked. Yeah. Vegetable kurma. Your mm. favorite? Wow, excellent. Yeah, you like it? It's really good. Don't, don't, don't you think it's a bit burnt? <laughs> I don't know. Come on, look. You haven't made it in such a long time. Yeah, it's I excellent. know. But you sure it's not burnt? It's okay. You've made it with so much love. You know? It's yeah, really, it's really it. nice. Don't <laughs> worry. I'm really enjoying it. Thanks a lot, honey. Yeah. Come, let me do the, let me do the dishes for you. Let me do the dishes. No, no, no. I'll help you with that. I'll help you with that. Honey, you've got 9 o'clock, work up. Work up at 9? No, but you've got your anomaly you know, at 9. You better go watch your next series. If not, tomorrow morning you'll be very curious about what happened next, what happened no. next. Anomaly can wait. I it's your know. birthday But today. you watch anomaly every day. But work up is more important, oh, right? Honey, sweet. Anything for okay. you. Let's go, let's go watch a nice game tonight. Let's go watch a nice game tonight. What have they done? They have found the solution to the problem. Uh, Solution is show, always show and tell the person how much you appreciate them. The second one, let positives override the negatives. And the third one, always share interests, responsibilities and chores. With that, we want to end it with a song. Start the day with love, fill the day with love, end the day with love. That is the way to God. Start the day with love. Fill the day with love. End the day with love. That is the way to God. That is the way to God. That is the way to God. Thank you. How can I be a compatible spouse in terms of communication? The three answers below are speak lovingly, we need to be understanding, and we need to practice give and take. We are about to do a role play, and the situation is, 
A husband has promised his wife he's coming home to take her out for dinner since it's Sunday and it's a special day. But somewhere along the line, his friend calls. He's going away overseas for a while, so he says, Buddy, come on, let's go out and have a drink. So he thinks, okay, my wife will understand, doesn't matter. I'll go out for a drink with him. Following are two scenarios which we will enact. Family number one. Let's see what's on TV. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Hey Jay, you know what time is it now? Huh? Do you know Sorry? what time is it now? Uh, not early. Yeah. Do you know you promised me for dinner? Uh, sorry? Hey, can you listen to me for one? Oh, hey, wait, listen, listen. Really good. You know you pr hey, come on. You promised me for dinner. Have you had your dinner? Sorry, sorry. You had your dinner? Uh, sorry, sorry. I didn't get you. I really Can you just listen for God's sake and stop your TV? I'm not letting you watch this stupid TV. You promised me for dinner. What happened? Uh, I promised you for dinner. Yes, you did. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. What? What? Um, you see, uh, Dave had to really leave tomorrow. Yeah. And I, I didn't really have a choice. You can't call? You can't tell um, me you're going out with your friend? You keep me waiting here like a fool? I really, really thought you understood, you see. Uh, what? I could read your mind and some psychic here? Huh? You can't call? Yes. Um, uh, you, you see, uh, I had enough with you. You can't keep on doing this. You know, you always promise and you don't call, you don't come. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know. But, but what? Excuse me, if you want Excuse you screaming. for what? Yeah, keep Excuse screaming. You do this, and you say I'm screaming. If you oh, shut up! I'm not listening. listening. You know. The same family in a second scenario. The husband has called his wife. Cring, 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 cring. Hello. Hello. Hello, sweetheart. I won't be coming back home today. I'm going out with Dave because Dave is going back to London today. Oh, is it what okay? About... Can we postpone our dinner to next weekend? Oh, um, this should be okay. Is that alright with you, honey? Yeah, Dave is um, going back. Yeah. So, right? Alright. I hope you understand. Yeah, don't worry. Okay, bye, yeah. sweetie. Bye. Moments later, the husband comes home. Sweetheart, I'm back. I'm home. Hey, honey, you're back. Yes. How have you been, honey? Yeah, today was okay. How did you all with Dave go? Not bad. Dave has gone back to London and he sends his regards to you. Oh, alright. Have you had dinner? Um, not yet. Okay. It, shall we go on? Yeah. I already had yet. dinner, but I don't mind accompanying for my sweetie wife. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Sairam, uncles and aunties, brothers and sisters. Okay, we took two Swami's quotations here. There's nothing that love cannot achieve in this world. It can even melt the hardest of rocks. When the principle of love in every human being is unified, it becomes cosmic love. And there's another saying, love lives by giving and forgiving, and self lives by getting and forgetting. Sairam. So our question today is, uh, how can we avoid pressure from other people's lifestyle? And uh, this is the scenario. Hey, hi Mary! <laughs> what are you up to? Hey, where are you going? I'm going to Finland. How about oh, you? Oh, wow! I'm going to Penang. Penang? Yeah. <laughs> okay, have a good trip. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, how, how long you'll be there? Oh, uh, more than one month. For holiday. Yeah. Wow. Waiting for my sweet husband. How about you? Sayang. It's his leg cup. Mwah. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Honey, my leg been too. Honey, my leg been too. Leg been too? Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Look at it. 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 No, baby, you are my wife.
We're in Boston's holiday. I take a break under the sun. It's Boston's holiday. Look at them. Just look at them. How romantic they are. What could be romantic like him? Uh, well, uh, wait until he goes overseas. You? Look at them. They have a driver. They have a Mercedes. And look at us. We, we have an old Kalisa. Ouch! When are you going to change your car? Hey, you come back here. Hey, you! Woo! If you have the ceiling on uh, Desire has a, a couple, or you can uh, plan your lifestyle, a milestone uh, for the goal and achievement. And uh, if you can plan it ahead, then you don't care of uh, what people have. And, uh, or maybe you can understand, like uh, what Baba says here, understand the need of your spouse and uh, before you be committed or you get married. So you understand first before you get married. Uh, so, and Swami says, selflessness is God and the self which is selfless is God. To feel minds and times is ego. Ego is very harmful. It is to kill the ego that two souls are brought together. So marriage needs your life and a whole life together, not just a few days, weeks or years. Thank you, Sairam. Swami, how can I deal with peer pressure? Primarily, primarily from our in-laws and relatives. So basically, it's how we deal with peer pressure with respect to in-laws and relatives. Honey. <laughs> Good morning. This is the breaking news from CNN. After the December 26th tsunami, this is a bigger event. <laughs> happening live in Asia in Mr. Shan's house. And uh, we would like to go live to Mr. Sean's house and I would like to pass my, my the broadcast to Mr. Jeev, my colleague there, Mr. Jeev. Yeah, Mr. Satya, we can hardly hear you right down here from Ground Zero. Basically, there's a real, real war going on in Mr. Sean's house. This is a typical Indian family in Malaysia. And knowing any typical fa Indian family, they have a lot of emotional fights at home. So let, you, let me take you straight to the house, what's happening within your home. Yeah, I'm tired with housework today. So? Can we go out for lunch? lunch. For dinner, please? No, not today, not today. Why? I'm tired. Not today. Eat. So, what if you're tired? I'm tired as well. Please, not today. understand. Housework is much more important than your house office work. Can you understand English? I said not today. Oh, you're not, today. not forgiving. You have no time for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. You always complain, complain, and complain. Kring, 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 kring. Hello? Hello? Uh, Apu! Uh, yes, mommy. How are you, Apu? Uh, I'm fine, mommy. How are you, mommy? Apu, are you free tonight? Tonight, uh, mommy. Wait, what's up, mommy? Apu, I need to go to the supermarket, Apu. Okay, okay. Mommy, I'll come there right away, mommy. Thank you, Apu. On my way, on my way. Apu. Okay, okay, I'm coming, okay, mommy. Okay, bye. Alright, alright, mommy. Okay, okay, okay. Come, come, come. Okay. You know what? I'm going to hear something. What? I'm talking to my mother. So, you have time for your mother and no time for me? Well, that's my mother. Hey, you attended school, right? You yeah. attended the biological class, right? They I say know. mother is very important. Oh, you're married to me or married to your mother or no? Hey, hey! Talk properly, I'm going to slap it with my left hand, okay? Oh, please, understand. Green, 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 green. Yes, hello. Hello, Mike. Tonight, we go. Tani. Hey, Arvin. Macha, ni or kana macha. Hey, hey, you think I you? Hey, hey, why? Hey, freeze! Direct translation in English. You stupid fella. Why are you calling me now? I'm fighting my wife, right? Hey, Arvin, actually, get out, Arvin. Hey, hey, I set up for you two Indian circle, my. <laughs> Yo, Arvin, you're one tempting you, me, Arvin. Arvin, just one, one more thing. Hold on, one more thing. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Today, tomorrow. Are you Arvin? I'm in the park uh, already, da. Um, okay, 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 okay. I'll, I'll okay, send okay. my mother to the supermarket, then I'll come okay, and okay, see okay, you. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, all right. Okay, 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 right, right. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Now, oh, now what? what? Now what? You have all the time in the world for your mother and your friends, and now time for me at all? No, I don't. So, so now you don't now. feel tired at all? No, yes, I'm not. Tired has gone all hey, her life. Hey, come on. 
I tell you, <laughs> tell you, uh, watch your mouth, huh? See, I can do what I want. Okay, you do got no right to ask me any question. Oh, what a life I'm living now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Complain, complain. I think the solution here to the problem is number one, understand. Understanding is very important. Understand the terrain that you you're born in. Number one is understand your in-laws, understand your extended family. Number two is communicate your expectation, knowing that it, you're going to be disappointed. But anyway, communicate your your expectation. And secondly, and the lastly, be prepared to adjust because adjustment is very critical. Back to you right now, the CNN headquarters in Atlanta, Mr. Satya, reporting live from Ground Zero, Mr. Shan's house. Thank you, Jeev. Thank you for the live coverage of Mr. Shan's house. Phew, that was something. Anyway, before I conclude, I would like to say a quotation from a wise man in India. His name is, um, I think, Bhagawan Sri Satya Sai Baba. Well, he said, marriage is a dream. Realize it. Marriage is a game. Play it. Marriage is a challenge. Meet it. And marriage is love. Enjoy. Thank you for watching CNN Live. Good night. Chosen is balance activities and the subject is time management. We plan to propose, uh, act out a sketch and the scene is basically a father and mother. The father is ready to go to Bala Vikas class, he's the coordinator and the mother of course has a wedding dinner to attend. Without further ado, I present Dinesh, you haven't told me what time we're leaving for the wedding. What time can we go? I have to go and set my hair, everything. I have to make appointments. Wedding, what time wait, are we wait, leaving? wait, wait, wait. What? Wedding? What wedding? What do you mean, what wedding? What? <laughs> what wedding? <laughs> what wedding? <laughs> Chitra's daughter's wedding. Chitra, Mitra, who's Chitra? <laughs> oh. Chitra, the, my best friend drives our children to school. Chitra, you've suddenly oh, forgotten her. So her wedding. I thought she's married. She's got children, right? <laughs> We are being funny suddenly. Last week I went for the Ponduruka for what? You know right, today is the wedding. So, I'm coming to ask you, what time are we going for the wedding? Since I'm sorry, I'm not going question. for any wedding tonight. Today, you know, Sunday, isn't it? Balvikas class. I'm the coordinator of the region for Balvikas. Okay, what's your point? <coughs> what's my point? My point is I'm going for the Balvikas class. Why are you going Balvikas for Balvikas? Balvikas wedding, Balvikas. What's more important? Balvikas, right? You are what for Balvikas? I am the region coordinator. If you are the coordinator, then coordinate it. You've seen the Balvikas <laughs> class, isn't it? No one else is as good as me. Okay? <laughs> All the children come to see me. Yeah, okay? So, yeah. hmm. okay, anyway, you knew about the wedding earlier, right? You knew we are involved in this wedding. This is Chitra's no daughter's wedding. You had no idea at all. Okay, forget lah. Okay, forget you forgot all that. Okay, good. Are you coming for the wedding with me tonight? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just going for my Balikas class. You <laughs> can't ask somebody else to do? You can't ask somebody else to do your class for you tonight? Want to go for the, the wedding, wedding card came last month. Last we month? We spoke what is about it? it. You know whose wedding this is. Now I you know, know how important it is to me. Why? I, I don't it's important to what you. Why don't you go? Are you? Yeah, I am going to go, but... I have a okay, husband, I've heard so enough. you should I've come with me. If you want you to know, go for the wedding, you can get somebody else to do the class for you. I can't ask somebody else's husband to come with me for a wedding. <laughs> if you wish, you can go with someone else. <laughs> oh, so I'll carry on for the wedding. Yes, You're not coming. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go right this ahead. is not some reverse psychology, uh, right? No. Because believe it or not, whether or not you come for the wedding, I am going to go. Listen, okay, so are you deaf? You if want, you want to go I'm for going. the wedding, go. Bye. Okay, I'm okay? going for my Balikas class. Fine, go. Here goes our pine Elma. Fighting, fighting, fighting. She want to go there, she, he want to go there. Now wh where shall we go? <laughs> this is not new, uh, but I'm going for the wedding. I get a chance to wear my new choker. Shankri, you are going for the wedding? Yes. And then who's going to help me with our first Balvika's class? We're supposed to do the silent sitting session, remember? Yeah, but... Uh, I'm not going to do the session and go. No, I think I'm going for the wedding. Uh, relax, relax. I was, I was, I'm so confused now. Let us uh, ask advice from Grandpa and Grandma. Agreed. Let's go. Grandpa Yeah, children, what is it? Grandpa, Grandma, Amma and Appa are fighting again. Amma wants to go for the wedding, 
Afa wants to go for Bhavika's class. Now we don't know where we are supposed to go. Those days we all went out together. Nowadays, see, they are so busy. They are working, they are married, they've got children, and Sai activities on top of that. They are not able to manage. See how they are running in different directions. In, it's not You know, nice I told them, you know, um, I told them, last month, these two Americans came, you know, Rita Bruce and Robert Bruce, go for this marriage cause. They didn't even go for that. What's wrong with these people? Uh, I anyway, think I should talk to Dinesh. You should talk to him. Yeah, Something that, should be done. They are running at different, different know, directions. It uh, doesn't work out as a good family at all. I think today they, they need to understand each other, you know. You know what uh, Swami says? Today, there is the tendency of separation, not coming together. Life is full of troubles and challenges. We should not separate ourselves because of this but rather than face them together. Now, when trouble comes, even if it is small, it separates us. That should not be the tendency. One should give one's heart to another. Yeah, so... Uh, Dinesh, yeah. please come over. We've got to tell you something. Uh, Dinesh, Dinesh, you've got to sort this out. You have to manage your time properly, Dinesh. Why don't you all plan all these things? No planning. No, I told you all, if you had attended the marriage course, you would learn something. Learn something about time management. I've had enough with Gayatri. No, oh, come on. Here. I've had enough as well. No. How can you talk like this? <laughs> Gayatri, how can you talk like this? Listen, Mama. I'm always giving in, Mama. How much to give in? How can you compromise in this situation? The wedding date is fixed. Class someone else can do. He doesn't want to. But is it true you said that you how can you go with another man? How can you talk like that? You know? <laughs> and Dinesh, and Dinesh, are you what are you? You can't be on an ego trip, Dinesh. Are you the best? Uh, uh, no, Dinesh, you can't talk like that, Dinesh. Your Swami's devotee. Swami says, drop your ego. So, as a man, you should understand. What example you are setting for your children? And you know what Swami says about men? Men should try to understand women. And women should also try to understand men. It's the harmony, peace and mutual love between men and women that brings happiness and peace to the family. <coughs> so, Dinesh, you must work this out. We can't go on like this. See, the children are learning, you know. Learning from you all. And then they will continue fighting. What say you, Amma? Yes, yes. <laughs> and, um, I don't know, there must be adjustment and understanding of that three. You must, you know, uh, adjust. If you can't adjust, then life will go on like this, you know. Anyway, um, you know what Swami said about adjustment in marriage, Swami? Sometimes it's natural for you to have anger, ego, temper, tension. You must have adjustment and understanding. Okay, Mama. I'll control my temper. Good. You have to control your anger. And Dinesh, you have to control your ego. Watch it. Mama, you want to say something? <laughs> Some compromise so that the family goes out together when it is necessary to go out. So Dinesh, what compromise are we coming to here? <laughs> 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 Sarah, Sean? Um, I have an event to go away for tonight. Uh, is it alright if you take over the Bible class class tonight? Alright, thanks very much, Sarah. Also, that's an alternative. Thank you, Denise. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Mama. Thank you, Mama. The other thing is to be selective in which areas that you want to get involved in. There's so many activities inside, like activity. The family is also a very important part of that. And lastly, of course, to work out common understanding on, of, on degree of commitment towards Sai and family. I think the challenge is to balance both. Thank you, Sai.
chance to look at them all. Okay, so some will be for you and some will be for me if we can answer them.